Jane. My dear older sister. Hey. You know your wedding this weekend? There's a change in plans. The bride is going to be me. What kind of joke is this? Come on, Liana. I'm going to be marrying your fiancé. Surprise. Liam is saying he wants to marry me too, so that's that. There's no problem here, except for you being the way. So just give him up, all right? What the heck is going on? I really don't understand what you are trying to do here. What nonsense. And really, out of nowhere. Nonsense? What's so hard to understand here? I'm telling you, there's a change in the bride. You need to let me take your place, that's all. And why would I do something like that? I'm going to be the one marrying Liam, not you. Why would you, my little sister, be the one marrying him in the first place? That doesn't make any sense. Liam would never agree to something like that. Why not? It's pretty obvious why he would. I stole away your fiancé. That's the truth of the matter here. This is insane. You're not going to marry him, so just stop. I didn't even know what kind of guy Liam was. I thought he was just some average Joe. He's a doctor. Why didn't you tell me that in the beginning? I could have stolen him way earlier before things got serious between the two of you. Or maybe you knew I would try to take him away if I knew, right? That's absolutely ridiculous. I literally had just found out about him being a doctor when I went with our parents to go meet Liam's parents. I seriously couldn't believe it. I knew I had to find a way to marry him. Right after I got home that day, I looked all over the internet and also on social media to find all the information I could on him. I set up this master plan where I would meet him just by coincidence. Of course I had already looked up his location and everything beforehand. It worked and we were able to exchange contact information and everything. That was a really close call. I am so glad I found out about him before the marriage. So, wait. When you said that you stole my husband, does that possibly mean? You guys were dating behind my back? Oh, Jane. We started dating a month after the parents met. We got to know each other little by little. You know how it works. It wasn't before long that he really fell in love with me. And finally, Liam knelt on one knee. You are the one I really want to marry, is what he said word for word. He proposed to me. So your plans of getting married are over. Are you freaking kidding me? So now that I've explained everything, Liam is mine now, all right? Don't worry, sis. It'll make sure Liam and I have the happiest marriage ever. You've really crossed the line. Do you even realize how terrible of a thing you've done? Do you have a conscience? How could you try and steal away your own sister's husband? I really can't believe you would do something like that to me. You are really selfish, Leona. Selfish? Oh please. You are the one who's selfish. Not only are you short and stubby, you're so ugly. Do I have to tell you that at this point? Even though you're my older sister, you were always wearing my hand-me-downs. How can someone like you marry someone like Liam? That's totally not fair that you would get to marry a doctor and marry into money like that. How could you say that? While I was dating some no-name actor whole probably never made it. You probably decided to marry Liam just to spite me. I really hate that side of you, you know? It's really annoying as heck. Always trying to get the upper hand. Do you seriously believe that I would do something so petty? First of all, I didn't even know you had a boyfriend. Second of all, if I didn't know you had a boyfriend, how would I know he's some actor who hasn't made it yet? When me and my boyfriend were trying to save money on dates. You and Liam were out eating at fancy steakhouses. I just couldn't stand the fact that you got to enjoy all of that while I had to always put up with lousy dates. So I had to do something to take Liam away from you. He's mine now so there's no use in trying to win him back. 
You ugly fat pig. There's no way I'll let you be happier than me. I deserve to live a better life than you. Fancy steakhouses? I don't know where you got that ridiculous idea from, but we never went out to expensive restaurants like that. But that's besides the point. How could you steal Liam away for such a selfish reason? You don't even actually like him for who he is. Oh, just shut up. I don't care. The only thing that matters is the fact that Liam is going to be taking over the family hospital one day. Right? Not only am I marrying into money, they'll practically be a celebrity once Liam gets to the hospital. He'll be living the dream life for sure. My short, stubby sister would just stick out like a sore thumb living in that kind of world, don't you think? So you're saying that unlike me, you'd actually fit in? Are you sure about that? Of course. It's me that we're talking about. I'm the one that Liam wants to marry. He always tells me how pretty I am all the time. Either way, it's too late for you now. You won't ever have a chance at being his wife anyways. Oh, all the preparation you did for the wedding? It won't be for nothing, says. ITLL all be for my wedding now. You can just sit with mom and dad, watching us get married from afar. Two hours later. Jane, what is going on? He just started saying he was going to marry your little sister instead of you, out of the blue. What happened? Hi, July. It's been a while. I hope you've been doing well. As you know, I was doing all the wedding prep and getting ready for the big day. I didn't see this coming. I'm really sorry about this. You can't just say sorry. That doesn't fix anything. Why don't you want to marry my son? Were you that unsatisfied with the relationship? What? I've never even heard of brides being switched like this. How could this have possibly happened? And just because you didn't want to get married anymore, you would make your sister take your place like this? I didn't think you were that kind of person. I'm so disappointed. I really did like you, Jane. That's why this is just so upsetting. How could you? Um, can you please let me explain things first? July, I promise you things aren't the way you think they are. I think you've misunderstood the situation. This is a misunderstanding. What happened then? I myself think it is completely absurd that the brides would switch places right before the wedding. It wasn't me who suggested it. It was my sister and Liam. I really didn't know anything about it. Oh my goodness. Really? I really just heard about it from my sister Leona earlier today. Apparently, they had been dating in secret for quite some time. Even though Liam and I were already thinking about getting married. It was my sister who made the first move. But Liam eventually gave in and their affair began. It seems like Liam is the one who suggested that my sister swaps places with me. What in the world? This was all Liam's doing. It's practically checkmate and I've lost. I wasn't really given any other option than to accept their decision. I didn't even think for one second that my little sister would do something like this to me. But there's nothing I can do now that Liam doesn't love me anymore. His heart belongs to my little sister now. Oh you poor thing. I can't even imagine how you must feel right now. Jane, I'm so sorry. I was so rude to you earlier. I apologized for accusing you when you were completely innocent. Oh, please don't apologize. It's really okay. I don't think any mother would like to believe their son would do something like this. It's only natural that you misunderstood. I don't blame you at all. I really thought I did my best to raise my son right. To teach him morals and principles. To think he would do something so horrible and thoughtless like this. He should know better. That scoundrel. Every single time he acted out, I really made sure he knew he was doing something wrong. How could he not have known what a despicable thing he was doing when he cheated on you? It was the same for us too, July. 
Our parents raised us quite strictly, making sure we learned from our mistakes. It seems as though my little sister and Liam never really took it to heart. I guess so. Well, we must do something about the wedding. I will make sure it does not happen. For starters, let's call and cancel the wedding venue. It'll take responsibility and explain the situation. You don't have to worry about this. After that, we need to get the families together and have an emergency meeting. I will make sure that my stupid son takes full responsibility for this mess. Wait, July? You didn't hear about the wedding from Liam? I was told that they both have taken over the wedding preparations, and that the wedding will go ahead as planned. They what? They want to go ahead with the wedding. Yes, that's right. I guess they thought it would be a waste to cancel at this point or something. Basically, they're getting a fully planned wedding dropped right into their lab. What? What the heck are they thinking? I did hear from my son that there was going to be a change in the bride but... I didn't actually think the wedding was still going to happen exactly as planned. Yes, it's quite shocking, but that seems to be their plan. The original bride will now be attending as a family guest. How foolish can those two be? Do they really think that plan is possible? They must not be in their right minds. Those two certainly believe it's possible from what I've been hearing. Jane. I know you are busy, but can you make some time today? I'd really like to meet you in person and talk. Of course, let's meet. But what did you want to talk about? If it's about this current matter, there's really nothing else to discuss. Honestly, I'm quite tired and don't care anymore about what has happened anymore. I'm really over it. My sister has always looked down on me, and I know I can't really change her. I have no intention of trying to win back Liam, either. I don't think I could ever trust him again anyways. No, no, Jane. I just want to apologize to you in person. That's all. On behalf of my foolish son, please let me properly apologize. You must let me do at least this much. Oh, July, you don't have to apologize to me. There's really no need for you to do that. You didn't do anything wrong. No, I really must, as his mother. I don't think I could live with it if you don't let me. And I really want you to know how angry I am. I really can't believe those two. How dare they? My son should be ashamed of himself. Please never forgive him. I certainly won't. He needs to properly learn his lesson. I'm going to get ready so we can meet, but I'll message you again so we can decide where to meet. One week later. Hey, sis. Did you see the photo of me in my wedding dress? Aren't I just beautiful beyond words? Sure, you look really nice. Right? Actually, this dress costs 20,000. Of course, I look fabulous. It's all thanks to Liam, really. Having a doctor fiancé is great. I get to wear such a glamorous wedding dress. And this is just the beginning. Sure is a glamorous dress, but it's my hand-me-down. You know that, right? And? Of course I know how much it cost. You don't have to tell me. In the one who picked it out in the first place. You didn't have time to pick out your own dress, huh? The groom, the dress, the venue. All hand-me-downs. Even though you hate me so much, are you happy copying me like this? Huh, what do you know? The ugly chubster actually got a little better at comebacks. But sis, no matter how hard you try to toughen up, it doesn't change the fact that you are just my worthless sister who always loses. I mean, come on. You don't even come to the wedding venue and here you are trying to act all tough through text. You really never stop, huh? Where is my sister who got her groom, dress, and venue stolen away from her? Where is she hiding? I don't see her anywhere. Where in the world could she have ran off to? Just knock it off already. I really understand, sis. 
You don't want anyone seeing your ugly crying face while I get married to your ex-fiancé. I know it's a lot to handle. But you can't miss out on your own sister's wedding. You need to make sure you attend, all right? We're family. Why in the heck would I attend your wedding? It's absolutely not worth it. There's nothing that can make me want to go at this point. Sure, sure, whatever. I'm sure you just can't handle seeing Liam next to me. I know you're just jealous. Since you're the ugly fat sister who lost out. I can't believe you thought things would go your way. Let's just be realistic here. There's no way that someone like you could ever marry a doctor. And do you think I would let you get married before me? No way. You're really on a roll here, Leona. So let me just ask you. Are you really that happy that you stole your sister's husband away? Are you really okay that this is the way you're going to be getting married? By betraying me? After what you've done, you think that happiness is waiting for you on the other side? What are you freaking talking about? Of course I'm gonna be happy. I'm getting married to a doctor for crying out loud. How could things get any better than that? This is literally going to be happily ever after for both me and Liam. I really do apologize for getting married before you though. I'm sure it hurts plenty. I'm off to be celebrated by a bunch of people and enjoy my luxurious wedding. You think your wedding is going to go smoothly? What do you mean by that? What is going through your head? How can you think your wedding day is going to be a success? Ignorance is really bliss. You make me believe that. Get to your point already. I don't know what you are trying to say here. I get to wear this 20,000 dress and marry a doctor. Of course my wedding day is going to be the best day ever. Everything is going to be perfect. Whatever you say. You'll know soon enough. Reality is going to hit you hard. Well, see you around. I really hope you have a wonderful wedding. 20 minutes later. Jane. What the heck is going on? Why is this happening? Why is the wedding venue like this? What do you think? Is it the wedding you were dreaming of? With a venue like this, there's no way I can have a wedding here. What happened to the decorations? The venue is practically empty. No food. No flowers. What happened? I don't understand. I don't even know why you are surprised. All my friends who were planning on coming and helping out with the wedding? Why would they want to come to the wedding now? Huh. The decorations, food, cake, flowers. Everything. I asked my friends to help with all of it. From the wedding coordinator to the chef. The cake and flower shop? I was really blessed with the friends in my life. I didn't have to hire anyone I didn't already know. What the heck? You just asked all your friends to help out for the wedding? I really didn't want a fancy wedding or anything. I wanted it to be cozy and relaxed. It was a dream come true when my friends agreed to help me out. Of course I was planning on paying them well for their services. That is, until I was swapped out for you. That's why I told them their help wasn't needed anymore. You cancelled. Everything? Why the heck would you do something like that without telling me? You ruined everything. I told you to keep everything as planned for me and Liam. You shouldn't have cancelled everything like that. Why would I listen to you? Of course I would cancel. They're my friends anyways. They wouldn't want to help out after you betrayed me. Besides, you don't need all that stuff. As long as you have a venue and a wedding officiant, you can still get married. Decorations, food, cake, flowers? You really don't need any of that. What's the problem? You can still get married to Liam. If you love him, isn't that all that matters? Are you freaking kidding me? Just be grateful I didn't cancel the actual venue. I was kind enough to let you guys keep it. 
Have fun with your wedding with only chairs and tables. I'm sure ITLL be a blast. I won't forgive you for this. You're despicable. I've never heard of a wedding being held without anything at the actual venue. Yeah, and I've never heard of the brides being swapped right before the wedding. But that's a life for ya, right? Gotta roll with the punches. Shut up. You better do something about this right this instant. You're responsible for this mess. At this rate, this is going to be the worst wedding I could possibly have. I will not get married like this. Why don't you just talk to Liam about it? He's your husband, right? The guy you're supposed to lean on during tough times? He'll do something about this, won't he? If I could, I already would have done that. He just ran home after seeing the venue. I can't even get in touch with him. With the venue like this and Liam not here. What the heck am I supposed to do now? I can't even get married now without Liam. Ah, uh, Liam went home, huh? Figures. I mean, after being told he won't be taking over the hospital after all, I'm sure getting married isn't really something that's on his mind at the moment. What? Why won't he be taking over the hospital? Who cares? Just do what you have to do for the wedding, with or without the groom. Well then, enjoy your once-in-a-lifetime wedding. Two hours later. Jane, I've got news for you. Liam the fool came running home looking like a hot mess. He kept asking me why we wouldn't let him take over the hospital. Well, duh, right? Why would we let him do that after what he did to you? Even if he's my son, I won't let someone so irresponsible take over our hospital. What did Liam say? He was furious, red like a tomato. He tried to convince us that there's nothing wrong with his bride being your sister. He demanded that I hurry up and go attend the wedding. And to make sure he still gets to take over the hospital. Can't he be more logical? Why in the world would I give in to his ridiculous demands? I'm not even surprised. I mean, he did something as stupid as cheat on his fiancée with her sister. I know. I really want to know what I did wrong when raising him. I must have made some kind of mistake for him to turn out this way. My sister is just the same. I'm sure it wasn't your fault, July. He's already an adult. Don't worry, I'm going to be kicking him out of our family. I'm truly sorry about everything that happened. All because of my good-for-nothing son, going around causing trouble for others. No worries, July. I'm just so glad I have you on my side. It really helped. More than you know. Even after I cancelled all the decorations and everything, you paid all of my friends a cancellation fee. I'm really grateful that you did that. Of course. That's the least I could do. Please don't worry about it. It's really nothing much. Honestly, I'm just really sad that you won't be joining our family after all. I was really looking forward to bonding with you as my daughter-in-law. Oh, how disappointed I am that this is how it all ended up. I know I can't be your daughter-in-law. But I would love to be your friend, if that would be okay with you. To be honest, I can't imagine parting ways with you after all that's happened. It would break my heart if I couldn't see you anymore. Of course, Jane. I would love that. After things have settled, I'll make sure to contact you again. Maybe we can go get lunch at my friend's restaurant. He was going to be the chef at the wedding, so I was already planning on going just to apologize to him in person about everything. What a good idea. It would be a pleasure to join you. I'm really excited. I'll be waiting for your message. The next day. Jane. Hey. I don't want Liam anymore. I'll give him back to you, okay? You've got to be kidding me. After Liam left me at the venue alone, he ended up coming back. I didn't know what to do anymore, so I decided to just go on with having the wedding like we planned. But before we could get started, I always totally had to pay 50000 for the venue fees. We didn't have any decorations or food, and yet we had to pay that much for some shabby wedding? No way. It's a pretty famous venue, you know. I was on the waiting list for a long time. Of course it would cost that much. I kept wondering why I had to pay and why Liam's parents weren't going to help pay for it. I mean, the groom's side of the family should pay for things like this. But then Liam told me his parents cut him out of the family. 
He told me he couldn't afford it alone and that I have to pitch in. Unbelievable. You didn't know? Liam's parents were planning on covering half of the wedding fees. For the rest, me and Liam were going to split it. Well, now that Liam's parents don't want anything to do with Liam, they won't be paying a single penny. How are we supposed to pay without their help? And he isn't inheriting the hospital either. I can't believe this is how everything turned out. This wasn't part of the plan. I don't want to marry Liam anymore. You can have him. So just pay for the wedding fees. You can get married to him just like you were planning. Why don't you sell an organ or something? That'll give you enough money to have a wedding. Why would I do that? Liam's a doctor. I'm sure he'll have no trouble safely taking an organ out of ya. Good for you. You'll have lots of money in no time. What the heck? Me? Take out an organ and sell it? Gross. If you can't pay the wedding fees, you gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe you could sell a kidney? Selling one won't cause you any harm. You'll still be alive and well. No. There's no way it'll do that. Why in the world would I do something like that? E.W. You can just pay for the fees, right? You were planning on marrying Liam anyways. What's the problem? I won't be paying anything. You deal with it yourself. I don't need some jerk who threw me away from my freaking sister. No thank you. Oh don't be so stubborn. And don't abandon me like this. I really need your help, sis. Sis? Please don't call me that ever again. Makes me sick. Just like how Liam's parents cut him off. He'll be cutting both of you out of my life as well. We are no longer family. Never ever show up in front of me again. I don't want to see your face. Jenny. Leona and Liam made the decision to register their marriage without anyone's approval. Since Liam had severed ties with his family, he went to great lengths to establish connections with influential individuals at the hospital where he worked. He was willing to do whatever it took to advance his career, now that his future seemed uncertain. This constant struggle caused frequent arguments between Leona and Liam. With Liam frequently indulging in drinking, they struggled to make ends meet, and the glamorous lifestyle Leona had envisioned turned out to be nothing more than a distant dream. To compensate for Liam's irresponsible spending, Leona had to take on a part-time job and work diligently. Quite a far cry from the happily ever after they had hoped for, isn't it?